Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably right. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Um, we will be starting the show in a couple minutes. We got Ryan Peralta in the house. If you guys are uh, in the chat, make sure you direct any questions to uh, Jason. I'm going to share the, the links in the groups. The devil says, yo. The devil? Oh. Yeah, El Diablo. And there's John McNutt with his um, super polite evening, gents. Pierre, when's your uh, cling cat drop? I know it dropped, but when is it? Is it a pre-order, right? Those are all pre-orders? Yeah, it's a pre-order until, um, I think, August 30th. Okay. Yeah, it's usually about three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, John. I want to design it. Ryan. Ryan. What's that? Oh, John from Ink Park just asked, is that the homie Ryan? I said, yes, yes it, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What's up, Marcus? Marcus jumped on. Did you ask me a question, Ryan? Uh, I, I was just saying, I want to get a hat on. I want to design a hat for Clink one of these days. Yeah. It's been a crazy couple months for me, but. How's your son doing? Good? Yeah. Thank thank God, man. He's uh, He had minor symptoms. Yeah. And uh, super thankful for that. It was just, it was just a, like, congestion. His fever got up to, like, 101 for a day. And then, thank the Lord, he's... Uh, He's back to, you know, back to good health. That's great. That's great to hear. I think we can get started, Leon, if that's okay. Yeah, no problem. Welcome to the stream, guys. This is uh, had minor symptoms. Cat Banter, yeah. episode and, uh, 15. 15. Just... Sorry, I had an echo there. Uh, this is uh, Cat Banter, episode 15. It's your homie, Leon. Uh, we're here with my host, uh, Pierre, on location. And uh, Jason, we have uh, Ryan Hudson Peralta in the house today to uh, go through a collector spotlight. We're going to learn a little bit about his journey, um, some of his favorite cap and sneaker combos. Yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. So, here. Yeah, I think I should start by saying, um, tell everyone where I am. So I know this is probably really off-putting for a lot of people because, you know, whenever <laughs> you whenever you tune in, you see, you know, you see Leon's, um, his, uh, his um, hat like I'll say warehouse, you see Jason Mead's bookcase, and then you're used to seeing my hat wall. Um, well, I'm at my, um, at my, at the home that I grew up in. Um, this was my sister's room um, that was then transitioned into a, into a home office. So I'm, I'm in a very comfortable place that has a generator, um, internet, um, and air conditioning. You would not want to see me in 95 degree inside type weather it wouldn't be pretty um and yes um before we get anywhere else my my voice is a little hoarse so i just want to make sure everyone's aware of all the things you're going to experience that may be a little bit different today but what's 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 most magical about today is our guest so i've had an opportunity to kind of get to know um ryan a little bit and do a little bit of research behind the scenes and kind of Listen, get this is this is an inspirational young man we're about to get to know, um, and you know um, when I say young man, you're probably my age, Ryan. But um, <laughs> I appreciate it, man. <laughs> but um, but you know, we're we're all we're in the business of complimenting people here at, on the vault. So, you know, first, I just want to start, Ryan, by by asking you to share with us a little bit about yourself because 
the story of Ryan Hudson Peralta is an impressive one. So I'd love, I'd love it if our viewers got to know you a little better. Yeah, if you guys don't know me, I'm Ryan Hudson Peralta, uh, a.k.a. Look Mom, No Hands. Um, hence, hence this, right? <laughs> um, I was born with a disability called congenital limb deficiency. It just uh, means the shortening of the arms and legs. And in my case, I was born without, out, without hands. I'm 40 years old, but uh, my son, I have an 18-year-old son, and people think we're brothers all the time. And uh, so you, you can call me a young man. I appreciate that. So I have two kids. I have a 25-year-old stepdaughter named Miranda. My son, Noah, he's 18, uh, going on 19. Um, and I, I live a normal life. I'm a user interface designer for the number one uh, mortgage company in the United States, Rocket Mortgage. Uh, I'm transitioning over to one of their uh, sister companies, Rocket Homes, uh, soon. So I'm excited about uh, building that, designing that app. And I also do a lot of motivational speaking. Uh, I've pretty much been all over the world uh, speaking from Dubai, um, uh, California, all over the United States. And like I said, Dubai, um, I've been featured on a couple of YouTube, big YouTube channels that has over 10 million views, a uh, story about my life and how I mentor children that are born similar to me. Uh, that's a, a thing I'm really passionate about because, you know, there's no, there's no book or manual being born without, you know, arms or legs. So things that I've uh, figured out in my life, I call them cheat codes, you know, like stuff that I've figured out how to do. I'm able to share that with these kids. And uh, it's, it's been a powerful, it's been a powerful thing. What is it? What, what, what have you learned most about this? Like about yourself through all of this, Ryan, I'd love to hear, like, what have you learned most about yourself or, you know, or cause you're, you're imparting a lot of wisdom on other folks that perhaps, are up against something that they don't they don't understand yet, right? But you've had the privilege of of being around for forty years, um, which is younger than me, so it's okay for me to call you young man. <laughs> yeah, um, there you go. So to tell tell what what is it you learn most about yourself through all of this, and what is the wisdom you usually impart on people that are that are up against obstacles or things that may be may be challenging? The thing I learned from an early age is that people are going to doubt you no matter like how gifted you are, how talented you are. People are going to doubt you. I mean, the, the day I was born, the doctors told my parents I wasn't going to be able to do anything like from driving a wheelchair to driving a car to having a family. And I, I've been, I spend every single my day of my life proving them wrong, proving people wrong. I mean, to this day, people will doubt me. Like, how did I get somewhere? They think in like, you know, my, my assistant or someone that takes care of me has dropped me off. No, but the fact is I drive. And so like, I, I want to, I tell kids and I tell everybody that like, no matter what's wrong, no matter what's going on in your life, people are going to doubt you. But if you keep a positive mindset, you can do anything, man. I love that, man. I love that. So like, you know, you, you spent a lot, you spent a, a, a lot of time like helping others and, and, and whatnot. What do you, how do you, how do you take care of yourself? Like, how do you keep yourself in a, in a positive mental state? Because I got to be honest with you, man, that, that's a struggle for a lot of people. Um, and, 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 you know, I think one of the reasons why what I take away from you is one of the reasons why you're so motivational to others and why people look up to you is because you're able to keep this positive mind, mind space, um, for yourself. So, cause you can't really help others unless you're helping yourself. Right. How do you yeah, keep absolutely. yourself in that, in that place, Ryan? Well, luckily, um, by helping people, I get a lot back from it. It's like, you know, gifting, you know, you know, Pierre, you got kids, right? You give yeah. your kid something and you just see them light up and that means more than anything. Right. Mm -hmm. So I have, by me helping people, me helping and mentoring these kids, like I get that same, like that same feeling, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. But it's, it's taken me 40 years of my life the training my mindset to always be positive and, and to be this confident. Like, it's funny when I was growing up, I tell people all the time, like my confidence used to be mistaken for cockiness because when I had a hundred people telling me that I wouldn't be able to drive, I was the only one, you know, my parents too, but mainly I was the only one saying bullshit, I'm driving, I can do it. So, you know, sometimes that came off as, you know, being a little cocky, but it's all confidence thing. And, and like I said, it's it took me 40 years of my life to be who I am. So when I'm able to help people and it, it gives me that positive energy and keeps me positive. I love it, man. I love it. And that, listen, I, I firmly believe that you have to have yourself in this nice centered place to be able to help anybody. And you obviously do a great job doing that while helping others. Um, I have a quick um, trivia question for you, if that's uh -oh. okay. 
Yeah, this sure. harkens back to um, a, a previous conversation that that um, that I was having on one of the shows. Um, did Easy Did Easy E ever wear the White Sox cap? <laughs> Easy E or a White Sox cap, maybe before he died, but not not in the time of that movie he was made. Like when he was in that in that movie, he those were all L.A. hats, Raiders hats. They were all wearing that. The Sox logo was like towards the near his death. I will say this, Ryan. I, I knew you were going to call me out on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't you know be all why? roses. You Listen, no, you, you know why? Because I would have totally called you out too. So <laughs> you watch, you watch the show, so it's not all roses here. We have to still challenge yeah, you. Man, I'm I certainly not going to treat you any differently. No, please don't. I just want to make sure you know you're wrong. <laughs> okay. So, easy so let me see the e. let me see the picture. I know your mom has a poster of Easy E wearing a White Sox cap in that closet. Yeah. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll bust it. out my mom's poster from um, the One Eight Seven <laughs> album. But I, I want you to know that Easy E, for a large for a large portion of his rap career, um, once that White Sox logo hit production, was wearing that cap religiously. Yeah. Yep. I, that, but, like I said, it was towards the end of his life. But yeah, you're right. I mean, it was like the last, maybe the last five years of his life. But he wasn't with NWA because that Sox logo came out after. But right, but when he was a solo artist, the mm -hmm. White Sox logo was prominent. Yeah, I have an album with he's wearing the White Sox hat. So, and I, I told What's you that your, afterwards. Do you have a fit? And I know I'm playing with you, man. But do you have a yeah. favorite Easy E song? So, like, as you're like maybe at a workout or you're getting ready for your day, is there an Easy E song you would bust? You you would pump right now? Easy does cool. it. Yep, absolutely. Easy does, Easy does right. it. Yeah. Fair enough. I would. I like that one too. So yeah, mo real mother in G's that one too. I just censored myself, but you know that one. Oh, you did. You you sounded almost like a <laughs> clean version of the album just now. Well, because yeah, I because my kids were younger and I was listening to it, but I always listen to the clean version around them. Yeah, then, yeah. You know, you know. yeah. You have to. You have to figure yeah. out ways. Now my daughter's sixteen, so I don't have to play the clean version oh, yeah. anymore. You know. Now it's like I mean, she hears worse stuff at school than she does from uh, For the sure. Easy album. Yeah, but um. So Ryan, what got you in the hat collecting? So I know, I know, um, you're you're a huge shoe and hat guy, but what got you into hats? So like, kind of both. I got into hats and shoes because of the same reason. So when I was in school and everybody was wearing rings on their fingers and bracelets, right? Like there was no way for me to. I like, couldn't wear rings, obviously, or bracelets. I could wear necklaces and yeah. and like. I, I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to stand out. I wanted to wear some bling. I wanted to wear something different than everybody else. And so, damn, I found shoes and then hats when I could wear, you yeah. know, people weren't always aware, allowed to wear hats in school, but, um, but yeah, so I wore, I had more shoes than anybody. And the great thing about my shoes is like, I've had these for a couple of years, the bottoms don't get dirty. I don't walk. So and these are almost all dead stock to me. And uh, they don't definitely no creases. And so I'm able to keep them, but hats, I mean, um, I, w I wear hats every single day. Um, I know someone gave me a hard time about wearing a hat, uh, a snapback, because I was working out. I'm like, man, I'm not going to wear one of my, my fresh freshies, like, working out. Um, but, yeah, I always wear my hat backwards, too, because ever since I was a kid and I did interviews wearing a hat, I, I, they would always ask me to, like, if I, I wore my hat frontwards, there'd be a shadow because of the light. So I always had to turn my hat backwards, and then it just stuck. I'm just going to wear my hat backwards all the time. Well, well, Ryan, you know my you know my um, thoughts on wearing hats backwards for myself personally, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell everybody because I don't know if everybody knows because you told me earlier and I didn't know. Well, I have a I have a I have a motto, and it's I want my hat to face the direction I want my life moving, which is forward. But I like your reason as well for yourself. But yeah, I, I just can't wear it backwards, man. But that's your thing. Like, if I think about you, right, and I, and I envision you, it's always hat backwards. That's yeah, I mean, my sense. logo has my hat backwards, you know? It's yeah, like, yeah. And your logo is pretty pretty. Thank you. I, de I, designed, I designed that. I don't know if you guys know who Dan Gilbert is. He owns the Cavaliers. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. a great friend of, great, great friend of mine. Um, the first time I met Dan, I felt super uncomfortable wearing my hat backwards because, like, I don't know. It's like, this guy's a billionaire. I don't really know him, and I just felt uncomfortable doing it. And I was like, hey, he's like, hey, I always see you with the hat back. Why are you wearing your hat forward? And I was like, I don't know, just disrespecting. He's like, no. He's like, if anybody ever tells you that you can't wear your hat backward, you know, tell them to talk to me. And I, ever since then, I was like, all right, Dan, Dan's, uh, Dan's amazing. 
amazing yeah. human being. And uh, uh, that that was, uh, I was like, for sure. I mean, no one's going to tell me I ever worked. Turn my hat around now. <laughs> so what were your favorite teams growing up? Uh, Dodgers, because um, I love California. I love Southern California. Phillies, because the P, my last, one of my last names is Peralta. So the P, I always wore the, the P. Yeah. And the Tigers sucked, like, when I was growing up. Except the 1984. If you ever get to watch the 1984 final game, during the national anthem, you'll see this little blonde-haired kid with his uncle holding him during the national anthem. And then the one, I forgot what president was. Um, but in, in, in the video, in, in the video, yeah. So if you watch the '84 World Series and the national anthem, you see me. I'm actually uh, Larry Herndon, the left fielder for the Detroit Tigers. His daughter was born like me, and we linked up somehow. I don't remember. I was five years old but uh he invited us to the game and i ha actually happened to be on on tv during the national anthem that i came wow yeah 84 was 84 was um was a good year for them right that was alan trammell sweet lou whitaker at, yeah. um, at second base um they had a they had a good team that year i think it was who jack was it on um, jack morris was a pitcher for them jack yeah. morris was a big game pitcher too oh yeah for sure he was yeah he was you're a but you're a Dodgers fan. I love the Dodgers, man. If I could I get my it. wife so, to move to LA right now, I'd move to LA, but she won't move. So, so I, I listen. I, I I'm I'm all for the. I'm a Red Sox fan, but like my my second team, if I had to choose, won't be the Dodgers. Um, Jason Mead reached out to me earlier. He said, Pierre, um, I'd love it if you reached out to Ryan to find out what his favorite team is, so I can represent and 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 wear a cap from his favorite team. And I said, um. Jason, I'm not lying to you, man. It's the it's the L.A. Dodgers, and I was happy that you said that, Ryan. Does Jason not like the Dodgers? <laughs> no, he doesn't. And I love the fact that I had an opportunity to to ask Jason to wear a Dodgers hat, right? <laughs> and he was like, "I guess I'm wearing an affiliate." So now he found <laughs> the Raiders instead. So he doesn't even have a Dodgers affiliate cap to wear. So this dude, those go ahead. ask me my favorite football team. It's the Oakland Raiders. So thank you, Jason. I was going to mention that before, yeah, before the I, I show. I already knew that, and so that's why I saw yeah. this shirt, and I'm like, okay, this is going on today. Got the match. You, you did know that? No, but we, we got a connection. Oh, I, <laughs> I, see, I see. All right. Yeah. I was, uh, I was, a, Raiders when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I met the, um, the owner of the Raiders at an L.A. airport. Nice. And, uh, and I was a big Bo Jackson fan, like I think. Ooh, Bo, Bo Jackson, Jackson yeah. So a couple of years ago, I was doing this talk. And then afterwards, someone's like, hey, I know the president of the Raiders. You ever want to go to a Raiders game before they move out of Oakland? I was like, hell yeah. So they flew my family and I out there. And I got to watch the first half of a game from the sidelines. I didn't even think that was like legal, right? Like I thought it was just players, refs, sound guys, whatever, right? And yeah. but we watched the first half of the game. Uh, Raiders, Indianapolis Colts from from the sidelines. Man, it was it was amazing. I met met some of the players, met the new owner. It's pretty sweet. Awesome. That's awesome. So we're we're gonna get into a place where you're gonna show off your top twelve shoe and cap combos, right? But I want to ask you a question. So you're you're a, a, obviously a very motivational motivational guy, a guy that inspires others. Who inspires you, and why? Oh man, um, I know you want to say Leon, but let's we're we're not we're not talking oh, about from, like collective. Need, we're talking about like outside of the Leon. four guys that are here. Yeah, besides Leon, yeah. So no Canadian. So <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Okay. You, Just you, no, you'd be lying if you said a Canadian anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, actually, uh, so you know who Eric Thomas is? Eric, Eric Thomas, Thomas is a motivational speaker from Detroit. Um, Tony Robbins, but to be honest, man, the, the people that inspire me most are my kids, um, 18 and 25. No, my son, Noah, he made a, the first mini documentary about me when he was 15 years old and he got nominated for a high school Emmy award. And ever since then, he's just been doing crazy, amazing, talented stuff. And my daughter, uh, Miranda, she, she's amazing. She does work, does work in nonprofit. She does some modeling. And I mean, my, my kids are what keeps me going in life. So that's, that's, that's awesome, man. Yeah. I'm with you on that too. You learn more from your kids and they learn from you sometimes, you know, and I oh, think in sure. general, 
you know, like for me, seeing my kids, they, you know, they, they went through losing their mom and, and whatnot and watching them navigate through that and what they've learned and how they've grown from it has, has taught me more than I could teach them. And I'm sure, you know, you're seeing a lot of the same thing in your home. Um, kids oh, are, yeah. kids are amazing, you know, and I think, um, I, I appreciate that answer, Ryan. That's, that's a really good heartfelt answer. Um, now one, one last question for you, right? Um, because since Jason has such a, a strong love for the LA Dodgers, um, how about you share with me your two favorite LA Dodgers players of your uh, of all time? Your two favorites, man, definitely Kurt Clayton Kershaw. Okay. Um, man, I don't know. There's so many. I don't know. I, I I'm just gonna leave it at Kershaw. But my mind, I'm drawing a blank right now. But like Kershaw, so yeah. Many, yeah, Kershaw. I mean, he's the I, to me, he's the greatest pitcher of all time. I don't know who Jason thinks. Okay, maybe that's why he doesn't like the Dodgers because they have Kershaw. Maybe uh, that's no, gotta be it. No, my hatred of the Dodgers goes all the way back to my grandpa. He absolutely hated Tommy Lasorda for oh, I, yeah. don't know, I don't know what reason, but so I grew up just hating the Dodgers and, and never went away. But I can still recognize excellence when I see it. And Clayton Kershaw, cool, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. So yeah, I'm actually uh, I'm trying to meet. I'm trying to meet. I'm trying to meet, meet Clayton Kershaw. I'm going to meet him one of these days. Yeah. I agree with you. Clayton Kershaw is the best, the best pitcher. Um, I'd say over the last, like, I don't know, eight to 10 years in the regular season. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. He struggles. I mean, he got a little better last, this last. Uh, oh, I mean, oh he did. He did. He did. He I mean, the most innings. So by the time the playoffs come around. Yeah, I'm true. Dead. You know what I love most about this little um this little Q and A portion here was that <laughs> we got we we actually got Jason Mead to defend an LA Dodgers player, which was my trap all along. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here. Like yeah. I said, I can I can recognize his excellence, and he is excellent. Yeah, and honestly, um, my favorite team is the Dodgers. Then you know, uh, the you know I guess I don't know the Tigers are in the top five <laughs> because I live here. But uh, I love that. Like you, I coach baseball, travel baseball for ten years, and yeah. um, so like I, you'll catch me watching any game, anytime. Like I have MLB TV, I'm watching them all. But so yeah, mm-hmm. baseball for me is a sport I can watch anybody. I have the MLB season ticket, you know, on uh, yeah. MLB at bat, and I, I just I just love having the liberty of just watching whatever I want to watch, you know. Yep. So it's it's great. Um, Ryan, um, let's do this. Let's um, let me turn it over to Leon and Jason. See if there's any questions before we go through your top twelve. Is that cool? Sweet, yeah, for sure. So, uh, Leon, before Jason um, kind of uh, maybe maybe digs through what might have been asked through the feed, what do you have? You have any questions for Ryan? Uh, I guess more so about a collecting. I guess so. Um, obviously, by your background, um, you. Uh, obviously have a crazy amount of different brands and stuff like that. What kind of brands do you want to see kind of make more fitted? Because um, right now we're kind of seeing a resurgence with some of the, some of the brands coming back to it. There was a big you know, push from it before. And, and yeah. Uh, what, what, what are some of your favorite brands and what do you want to see? Um, so hats from new era Japan are my favorite hats. Like I, like I, you see me shopping on new era Japan more than anything. Um, um, I'm a huge bait fan, bathing ape. Um, so I have like every bathing ape fitted they made, or I'm sure I'm missing a couple, but you'll see a couple here. Um, I mean, I just, I don't know. I, I would love to see some more of that, like unique. I'm a, I'm the biggest, I'm the biggest fan of like a hat that has an all over print. Um, so I'd love to see more of that in the United States. It seems like the only way I can get it is in Japan or, or Korea. Cool. Yeah, there was, weren't a lot of questions, just a lot of uh, great comments of, of like how inspiring you are and, and how great, uh, you know, having you on the show is. And I told you before the show, you're going to make a lot of people jealous with that 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 wall behind you. And that's what the majority of the comments have been. Is that oh, it's just wall? a it's just a green screen. I Photoshop. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. So yeah, we discovered that that Pierre's was actually a green screen too. So it makes sense that you would actually have this. <laughs> no, one. actually, actually, I disproved. I think I disproved it the last show, didn't I? When I had to go back. Oh no, that wasn't on on YouTube though. That was an FHS when I went back and I actually started pulling hats out. People were like, oh, now we know it's not fake. <laughs> People thought nobody thought that they were just messing. 
Nah, I remember I asked you. I remember I asked you to grab me a that Chicago Black Sox hat or uh, or Blackhawks hat one time, and you went there back there and grabbed it. So maybe that, I think that was the time because I remember seeing that someone said, yeah. "Oh, now we know it's not fake." Yeah, well, well, um, I, we know yours isn't fake too because you're a stand-up <laughs> dude. But um, you guys ready to get started with this top twelve or what? Yes, yeah. Sure. Let's do this. All right, you guys want? I can't. I can't hold both at the same time. So you want hat first or shoe first? Your call, man. You, you take us any way you want, man. Yeah. All right. Well, well, maybe we'll mix it up. This this is uh, one of the nicest, oldest vape New Era hats I have. And uh, sorry, Jason, just happens to be L.A. Dodgers. That's okay. I can't see it anyway. <laughs> you want me to get closer? Come on. <laughs> no. No, no you're good, something. man. You're good. The All more right, L.A. So, you can throw at Jason, the better, man. We love it. So – I got to have the shoes uh, to match. Very nice. Like, my wife gives me a hard time because I'm too matchy matchy is what she says. But, you know. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Leon's term, too. Leon yes, uses the yes. term matchy matchy. Oh, Never my, matchy, matchy. you don't like it, Leon? You don't like the matchy matchy? No. No. Leon <laughs> likes to throw whatever whatever, whatever he wants on, no matter if I think Leon would look good in this. What do you guys think? This he would. LA. Yeah. I like that. Even, even like that too. L.A. on the front. Maybe I'll get you one of these. It's... Uh. <laughs> so I, so you know I got the pink LA fitted new era. Yeah. I gotta have the pink. I gotta have the pink vape shoes that match. I like those. Yeah. That's fine. Little, little too ma- little too matchy matchy for Leon, but I would wear them separately. That's all. It's a nice hat. It's a nice shoe. You guys know what shoe this is? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. Amazing. This is the Easy Turtle Dove. Mm-hmm. I wear my. Uh, Hat. This is a newer hat. I wear my staple. Oh, okay. Staple new era with the bird shit on the back. Yes. Ooh, I just got a couple of those too. Do you see that? There's they're making some bootleg ones. Like for you, caps just made a couple of bootleg versions. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Saw that. It's got like an idgin. <laughs> Wasn't a strong bird shit in the back of it. Mm. This is Ooh. a Japan uh, new era Japan denim uh patch hat yeah yeah that's a nice one that is nice and then i got the denims in it. jordan fives okay denims, or right. jordan sixes sorry jordan sixes that is matchy matchy but that's the name of this game <laughs> hey listen ryan just so you're aware people yeah. are calling leon out for using um wife lingo <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He uses the term matchy matchy. You know what though? I know I worked so the Rocket Homes. I was telling you I was working with those guys. Uh, they're in Canada. They're based in Canada. Yeah. Some of the guys are based in Canada. They use a lot of wife wife uh, wife terms in Canada. I found that out. They so. do. I think. Like, yeah. Just to let the, the guys. Know. I'm in a group chat with Leon, and all day long I hear these wifey terms. <laughs> <laughs> this hat is my favorite Bape New Era hat of all time. It's actually Bape New Era Kith. You guys familiar with Kith? Yep. Oh yeah. So it's the white white camo. Okay. Um, I I literally have six of these because one the first one I had I I sweat in a lot, and it got like some browning on the back. So and it's literally my favorite hat. I wear it all the time. So I had I bought six of them, and my wife gives me a hard time for that too. <laughs> this so I had these custom made these custom Tims. Oh shit! To nah. Match that. Damn. That's awesome. You're making Leon want a matchy matchy now. I see him. He's like, he's over there, like, all right, how can I do some of this now? <laughs> Hit me up later. I'll help you with the matchy matchy. All right. <laughs> these, these are uh, LeBron. Uh, what is this? Newsday mixed. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I knew what it's called earlier, but so this one's this one's yellow, and the other I don't have the other ones over there, but it's purple. So both you know, <laughs> both shoes are two different colors. So then I got the the goldie, LA. Ooh. Nothing fancy. Often. You guys seen this? You see yeah. the purple one a lot. You don't see the gold one a lot. No. Yeah, that was. I think I got the vape uh, or New Era Japan. These are one of my favorites of all time. These are Kobe's. Kobe's. Mm-hmm. And like here's those. the purple. Here's the purple one you were talking about. Yeah, there you go. Nice. These shoes. So unfortunately, mm-hmm. having small feet. They don't make, uh, they don't make all shoes in my size, so sometimes I gotta, I gotta, I get 
I guess the, I guess you call them bootlegs knockoffs. But I, the way I look at it is if they don't make them my size, they're real, right? Because they're the only ones. So I got these off white. Off whites, okay. Jordans, okay. Yeah. And to match, I have the New Era Supreme LA. Wow. In leather. Damn. Oh shit. Leon, Leon, oh, Leon just perked up right there. <laughs> That's a little matchy matchy though, Leon. I don't know. Listen, even if it's even if it rhymes with Supreme, Leon's in. <laughs> you got some Supreme, Leon? I got a couple. Got a couple. I, I don't I think I've not... ever seen any. He, he, he doesn't, doesn't wear ever... he doesn't wear them. No? No, no, they're too special for that. Oh. <laughs> I, I wear them. I got them. Yeah. So you guys know the Travis Scott. Astros. Yep. So yeah. I had one. It was a seven and a half. No, seven and three quarters. I just sold it on StockX. And the one I'm getting from our boy in Korea, he's sending it, but it's stuck in customs in uh, Chicago. So I brought this one out to represent this next brown shoe. Ooh. This one's from uh, what? Just Fitted in Germany. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about Hoon? Yeah, our boy Hoon. He's probably on, right? Uh, it might be not his bedtime right now. <laughs> no, this is lunchtime for him. Oh, lunchtime. Yeah, this is lunchtime. So I, I wear these with the shoes Travis Scott. Air Force right one. Mo. Drum. Another. Did you get the backwards one from Hoon? Is that the one you picked up? The, uh, no, not the backwards. The actual Travis Scott. Uh, he, got, he bid on them for me in Korea. The Travis Scott Houston Astros. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, wish you were here. Yeah. So these are Travis Scott mm -hmm. sixes, and I wear one of Jason's favorite hats. I own is the this LA. Oh yeah, that's this, the one with the sheen to it, right? Yeah, and it's yeah. It I have that. For, I have that for the Red Sox too. It matchy. It's matchy matchy with that that Travis Scott green shoe as well. So Leon's got to pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, is, Leon, uh, Leon, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get Leon for the next for the next big holiday. We're gonna get him a full like matching jumpsuit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matching hat and sneaker. I'm talking, he's gonna be monochromatic head to toe. Oh yeah, so I'll even dye my hair. I'll even dye my hair that color. You even <laughs> dye your hair. All right. That's I'm in. Oh, I just dropped it. Hold up. Too much talking, Pierre. <laughs> yeah. This one, off white, yellow bottoms, and I usually wear my mastermind new era mastermind hat with this. Oh, that's Ooh. with that metal tag, that metal tab there, pretty yep. sweet. Is that the older release or the one that just came out? This is the, not the new. There was one that just came out that was the 100th anniversary. There was one before that. What's what's the tag for? Like what's that metal? The tag, like? It's just their, it's just mastermind thing. Mastermind's super expensive in Japan. Like, yeah. like a sweatshirt is like twelve hundred bucks, or man, some of them are like two grand. So what? they always add these. They always add these crazy things to their stuff, and that's just something they do with their ass. We, we we always thought it was like to add your wallet chain or something. Yeah, <laughs> that actually might work perfect for me. Yeah. So I, I got, thought you could I hang got, like a, like a Christmas ornament from it. I'll try that. I got one more. Hope it's a Dodgers hat. No, it's it's one of each. Ooh, there you mm. go. I got one of these. You got one? Yeah. No, Pierre's got one. Yeah, Pierre's got all. You guys seen that? The perfect, the perfect shoe for that hat is. It's called a Sakai. Oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah. I have the Sakais. I have two colorways in these. Yeah, it's the double. Yep. Shoe. I yeah. love that one. Yeah. So, this is one of my favorite shoes. It's really, it's comfortable. I love that shoe. I have that that colorway and then the red and blue. I would say okay. th there's levels to matchy matchy, and you're operating on a different level, Ryan. When I, yeah. When I, when I when I make fun of the matchy matchy, it's not it's not. Uh, it's not this level. What, what you're doing. Yeah. I know the level though because I like that pink bay pat. I have this one here. Mm -hmm. I actually have my my whole entire family said they disown me, but I have the entire outfit. I have the tank top, the shorts. 
the hat and the shoes. And they, they all said they would disown me if I ever wore it all together. So <laughs> that's probably the level you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you that that's going a little too far. <laughs> man, but, well, um, that's it, man. I mean, I, I, no, that's see, good I, stuff, got, I got I got all the fear God across the top row. Damn. Um, the one I'm wearing is was a gift from uh, Vegas Jones is Jay-Z's creative director. He sent this to me and like I when it first came out, this was friends and family, this fear of God hat I'm wearing. And when it first yeah. came out, someone offered me like two grand for it. And it was like, I was like, yeah, I could use the two grand, but it's such a special yeah. gift. Yeah. So I've seen them on eBay for about that much. Yeah. I mean, they, they didn't make, he asked me what size and I was, I told him the size. He's like, okay, I got one. So <laughs> I got lucky. What, what size are you, right? Seven and five eighths. Seven and five eighths. Cool. Like half yeah, of the I'm, world. Yeah. <laughs> really? I think half the world is seven and a quarter. Uh, half my world is. <laughs> but seven five eight seems like to be the, that seems to be like the, the size. Okay. Is that right, I Leon? Is that the most prominent size? Uh, I according, swore. according to Hat Club, it's seven and a quarter. Yeah. It's eight, between a quarter, three eight, half, and yep. five eight. Those are, the, yep. those are the four most popular. Yeah. So... Um, Ro we got Robert in the waiting room. I got distracted. Well, be before we pull him in, though, before we pull him 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 in, we gotta we gotta wrap this one up nicely. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. First, I I want to thank you, Ryan, for jumping on with us. Yeah, you know, man, thank you. Absolutely. I think people like you are rare in this world, man. Folks that that are always looking to positively impact other people, um, while keeping yourself centered and, and and in a great place to be able to help others and. Man, I, I, I love being around people like you, talking to people like you, and just hearing people like you speak because um, it means a lot to me. Um, you know, anytime, you know, anytime I think, you know, um, life's, life's giving me a raw deal, I think about people like you that have overcome so much. Um, and, and listen, it is impressive to see a guy like you achieve so much um, with everything that you've been up against throughout your life, throughout your life. So. I personally want to thank you for being on. Um, I'm looking forward to making you the deciding vote in the next thing that we're about to do because nice. I'm excited about that. They can't dis they can't dislike you. I mean, Leon and I, they could <laughs> they could they could really hate us if we go if we vote the wrong way. But you, it, it's hard to hate a guy like you. You can't hate a guy like you. Oh, so people hate me. So <laughs> yeah. Well, Ryan, uh, you've got three guys here that don't. So all right, man. Um, Thank you. Yeah, listen, thank you so much for being on with us. And we're going to invite these two fellas in, right? And yeah. um, and this should be fun. What, what we're going to do is we're, we're, I'm going to hand it over to Leon. And Leon's going to take us through this next segment. But again, Ryan, thank you. Yeah, my and pleasure, man. Forward, and I look forward to having you on again at some point. Um, we'll figure yeah, out what, what the topic of discussion will be. But we're going to get you on again. Absolutely. Cool. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no problem. Now let's, uh, let's judge these Detroit hats. Yeah, let's do it, man. So this this spawned this idea, I guess, kind of spawned as a, you know, me and Pierre were kind of um, spitballing to see, you know, who would be, I guess, the top in each city. We were kind of just running down the list. So we got um, AJ Faulkner. He was actually the the brainchild of the uh, FHS MLB Flex Challenge. So if you guys don't know, last month, um, every day there was a Every day corresponded with the matching team. So you know, the first was uh, was it Arizona was the first one or no? Who, who's the first city? Yeah, the first city's the first city's always Arizona. R comes before T. Okay, see, here. <laughs> I'm Canadian. So Arizona was first. And well, in the Canadian and the Canadian alphabet, it's slightly different in in Leon's yeah. defense because T comes before R in the Canadian alphabet. I was always yeah. I was always uh, a day behind, so I was posting mine like at five a.m. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Pierre's already had the next step up and running. But um, so we did the, we did the MLB challenge, and we were just kind of talking out, like, um, you know, who was the, the the guy in you know or the girl in you know Florida, KC, whatever. And we didn't really come up with a consensus for Detroit. I mean, I wanted to say Robert, but we didn't declare him. So uh, there was a lot of angry messages. Well, well, hold on. If I'm not going to declare myself the king of Boston, yeah. Like, I didn't declare I myself the king of Toronto either. So. Right. If you and I didn't declare ourselves kings of the cities that we kind of represent, right? Mm -hmm. 
Robert, in all due respect, you're the founder of FHS, and I love you like a brother. But you're you not crown the, you're not the you're not crowned the king of Detroit just automatically like that. If Leon and I aren't even crowned the kings of our own respective cities, I'm the okay? king. I'm the king. <laughs> well, well, we're here to figure that out today. Okay, I, I, see I, get to, I get to be a deciding factor in this. This is amazing. Yeah, no, this is amazing. <laughs> Ryan, you're gonna be a part of history here. You'll be a part of history here. But before and I'm from uh, Detroit, I, Leon explained that we, you guys, are going through the list of cities, right? There was so much hate for not mentioning Buffalo. One, <laughs> you guys yeah, were going true. through the list of major that's league true. baseball cities. Major right? league cities. Major league cities. Buffalo is not included in there. Minors. It's easy to yeah. major in the minors. Can I tell you why? Because Buffalo Buffalo <laughs> ain't known for shit. Where's except, Buffalo? Except, except for wings right? and their football team losing four consecutive Super Bowls. Exactly. Let's be clear. Hey, we also – it's also known for um, the place in which Canadians leave their empty shoe boxes at the at – That's the, true. The mall. <laughs> Yep. Hey, that's, boxes, that, that's fucked up. They didn't yeah. mention Des Moines either, but I didn't complain. <laughs> so. so listen, I, I gotta tell you guys, I, I think um I think um I think Robert's dulled his senses with his beer. <laughs> right, right, Robert? No, I'm feeling good, but I mean it's just a fucking it's like a joke to me. Like <laughs> I've been collecting hats since the early 2000s and I based my whole collection off Detroit. And then I, I surrounded it with everything else. And hey, so Robert, I'm certain. Go ahead. Robert, our viewers want to see the top of your head if that's okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to do, man. <laughs> you gotta see the hats. There we are. Now, there there we go. go. Now oh, we get this, to see the whole thing. Then I sacrificed the hat. This is one point right here just for wearing this and not even including it in the battle. Hey, Robert, <laughs> just so you're aware, too, my dad's watching, and I've told you how much you and my dad. Um, mean to me because yes, you're sir. both you're both the most prominent truck drivers in my life and so my dad is is in the, is watching so truck, truck um, driving is a brotherhood uh, so your dad is my brother Brian that's right on. that's right that's yeah right. I had to uh, I had to switch hats since this is a Detroit competition there you go, there you go. absolutely there you go. absolutely <laughs> I gotta, so shout, I out, shout, know. Out, so, shout out to my friends at team collective for helping absolutely me out absolutely so Leon, shouldn't we at, learn more about AJ? Because this guy yeah. came out of nowhere to start challenging shit. Like, first of all, he gave me a lot of work <laughs> to do last month, right? <laughs> AJ, I want to thank you for this. Oh, let's do this little flex thing, and then you, you basically fucked me for the whole month. Ghosted. <laughs> hey man, hey, I made about I made about half the half the days personally, but you offered to run it, and I appreciate it, my friend. I really do. It was a great month, so it was mm -hmm. solid. But girl, all I gotta say about all I gotta say about the battle to Robert is this: the only reason I'm on here is because you started it, and someone had to say something, and someone had to show some hats, bro. So you might have 800. I found 10 I like that are solid, <laughs> and I'm ready to go, bro. But it's all about the love for the fitness and for the city of Detroit, my friend. I I, res I respect that because I thought it was some guys that was gonna step forward, and you step forward. So let's go. Let's get it. Well, you know what? This is a little bit of a different tenor than what I remember from the messages, AJ. <laughs> you said something along the lines of you could take him, so therefore you're going to be a part of it. I don't, I don't know if that really happened that way. Uh, <laughs> and if it was, there was a few too many pops already going on. So, you know, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, AJ, AJ, I'm here to refresh your memory uh, you before be Leon uh, takes over here. You did say those things I just said. <laughs> yeah, we got screenshots. We got screenshots, AJ. That's right. Oh shit. Yeah, so I, I'm ready to get this going. I can't wait to see Leon. Leon's Leon's gonna take over now, and I'm sure he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna have some uh, he's gonna have some commentary throughout here. But Leon, let's take this away, man. I, I want to see who's got the better shit. So how do you want? Before we get wanna... before we get started, can I just say uh, I'm from Detroit, but I'm gonna try to not be biased. I mean, AJ's got a badass Pistons jersey on, so I mean, like. You know, and Robert's from Detroit. We're both from Detroit, so. Ashley, hold up. Ashley, I'm from River Rouge. I don't know if you know where that's at. Yeah, state I know. State football that, yeah. champions, number one team in the state before COVID <laughs> fucked that up. But it's inside of Southwest yeah. Detroit, so, you know, basically. Okay. I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to. I'm not that close, you know. Port, Port Huron's home for me, so all the way on the east side. So I know you guys know that's out on the east side, right by Canada. So, Leon, I know the shoeboxes in the parking lot, bro. I know it. 
<laughs> Jay, why do you have like a boy band poster behind you? Is that Montoya? Where? Who is that? The one, the, the, the guy pointing over your, you over guys, your uh, shoulder. Straight, up, straight out of Compton, bro. Kanye. Eminem. That M? That's Eminem? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Oh, okay. This is, you I know, I got Notre Dame, Stadium, like... Notre Dame Stadium on this side, you know. Oh, okay. Kanye, I thought that was Kanye Justin Timberlake like a boy band poster, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here, why got you got you got jokes, man? To start this off, let's roll. Let's go. <laughs> well, I think I think the jokes are, I, I think the jokes are gonna be on you if you don't pull out some heat because Robert's been collecting hats since <laughs> early two thousands. That's fine. That's fine. He's the OG. He's the he's the big dog. He's the OG. Someone's gotta take an L to him. It's fine. I'm ready to go though. Let's get right, it. Go. Well, let's let's go. Let's All get right. it. Go so ahead, Leon. Explain the rules. So we got them to uh, pull out their top ten Detroit. Did we say Detroit or Detroit Tiger hats? He 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 said he wanted to battle anything in Michigan, so I just pulled out everything. All right, and then uh, position so will. We're gonna let you guys go one hat at a time. You have a twenty second elevator speech um, for each hat, and then at the end of it, um, Pierre and me are gonna give the give the votes, and and the tiebreaker goes to. Uh, Ryan. So uh, I, I I gotta move around for mine. So I just I just want to let y'all know I got stuff everywhere. So I gotta move around. So he can go first. Go ahead. You ready to go for the first one? You ready? Let's go. All right. I'm starting out with uh, sticking with Pistons team to get rolling. So it's basic, but only hat I have it's got the metal flag, so the all gold metal, mm. suede band on the inside with the all blue Pistons. Light blue on the back. Okay. All right. Well, business it is. Double logo. <laughs> Funny year. Got the pin on it. I mean, double logo. I mean, I, I mean, a lot of these hats we both gonna have. I got that hat you got, bro. I don't even. All right, we're up. we're good. Two the the two the the newer fresh on the Pistons. You're probably holding this in the crib. I'm sure. Camo on the front on the bill, side, side patch on the side piece, making this man get up and do some work. I want to find some caps. <laughs> I don't know who's working more, him or you, leaning over at that camera. <laughs> hey, hey, I made a bar for someone who's six feet tall, so it's perfect to stand at. Like <laughs> same perfect. hat, same hat, Pistons, nineteen forty one mm. side patch logo. Woo! I like that. I like that. That's nice. That's nice. I like it, bro. I like it. Uh oh, he's getting naked. What the hell? Are we, are we yeah, this, this, this right here is, is a great. It's a well, great bro, you mean you had to, you had to, you had to be ready if you're gonna do Detroit, right? So <laughs> again, everyone's got pins, but not a lot of people have the. This is built in. This isn't a pin. This is the battery man on the front side, gold embossed around the D, script out Detroit on the back side. Okay, I got that one with the pins on the back. That's a sweet hat. Yeah, I mean, um, nothing top, nothing top the ticket stuff. Ticket stuff. What's the event on? Is that, that the is that the eighty four on there? Is that what 19, that was? Nineteen eighty four World Series. Oh, Man, that, right. that hey. game? October fourteenth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The clinching game, World Series. Bro, that was a great story, man. Was, that, I jumped on the stream earlier. So happy I did. It was a great story about eighty four, man. Great story. Yeah, so, thank you. Man. Your turn. Your turn. Hold All on, right. hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go, hold on, Ryan. Ryan, is that the game you were at? That's the game I was at. Yep. Awesome. Hey, this the game you was at? If yeah, I find this game. hat, if I find this hat, I will get it for you. All right, man. Thank you. I'm yeah, gonna find this hat for you. Thank you. I gotta awesome. get that that's, one. That's a nice full circle. That's a nice full circle. Yeah. All right. So again, this is one that, in my personal opinion, was a grail, which is the mesh fitted oh. in a tiger's cap with the coked out tiger on the front, obviously. But the mesh fitted, they didn't have this for a long time. Most of you guys know that. Most are probably holding it, but in my top 10 for sure. AJ, I think you're going to need Eminem's help in this one. So I got a two hey. for one, same hat, but rolled in a way. All-Star Game logos, 2005. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's one of my favorite All-Star Game patches too, Robert. Yeah, that was sweet. This, this pin was a gift from an FHS member. Thank you very much. Hey, got a question about that, though. Why would they make a road one? You know what? I have no idea. 
because it don't make sense for an all-star game, but it's so dope I had to have it. Okay. Good question. All right. All right, next up, this is the old school. The old school D, it's got all tiny Ds inside that. Tilted like sideways that. on it. All little tiny ones in there. This probably this this probably older than some people in the group right now. I ain't gonna even lie. Probably is. <laughs> that's dope. A little gas station looking, but that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's this joint right here. That's this one. This is the gas station joint up here. I had to bring the homeboy out. I had to bring the homeboy out. I ain't never seen that, bro. I ain't never seen that. Yeah. I had to bring the homeboy him, they, out. They call him the crackhead tiger, that one right there. Yep. I love it. Yeah. Meth head. Yeah, that's cool. Crackhead. Yep. Yo, Tanner. Hey, hey, um, yeah, hey Robert, you see a lot of those on your pop route. <laughs> <laughs> Is no, that why no you got comment. that hat? No why I got to do them like that? Why I got to do them like no, that? No, 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 no. For those – hold hey, AJ, slow slow your roll, yep. man. We gotta have, <laughs> listen, you got to – we got to wine excited. and dine. We got to wine and dine the viewers a little bit, man. Slow, yeah. slow the fuck down. This is the fastest battle ever. I feel like Robert's yelling at me to pull the hats out, bro. No, Robert's no, yelling listen, at me to pull the hats out. We're going to do I'm it. trying to – listen, my, my goal and Leon's goal and Jason's goal is to get people to, to know you guys, right? So, right. Robert – Every morning I'll, I'll, I'll check Facebook and Robert will be like, shit, I'm in the worst fucking neighborhood in Detroit, man. I got to get out the truck. I know he's wearing that hat. I know what that hat means to Robert because those are, those represent the crackheads he sees on the pop route. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, Robert? Silly. <laughs> You're silly. Every time I wake up, the first thing I look for is Robert's post on Facebook because it's a moment. It's something about his root, and I love hearing about it every morning, man. It's, it's like the like highlight of my start of my day. What kind of pop you deliver? I work for Dr. Pepper, Verner's, 7-Up, Root Beer, Sunkiss, uh, Core Water, um, Buy Juice, several, several products. Okay. I will tell you, a, a guy the size of Robert, if he's entering a neighborhood and he's like, I'm a little concerned. I'm fucking oh, concerned. I'm fucking concerned. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm always concerned. There's several neighborhoods. <laughs> All right. So AJ, see, that's how we do this. This is kind of what we hey. do. Okay. So now you're getting the gist of it. Like we talk a little shit, then we show a hat. You know, then we then we go to the next person. I mean, I don't want to talk excited. too much. Y'all can do that. It's my first time on here with y'all. So. <laughs> All right. Think what num number seven? We're on six. Yeah, six. I probably. So this is fucking bolt oars. I was Again, saying, is that the, golf clubs. This no, is before the Dianic bats, bro. This is before Dianic bats. This is way old Detroit fitted with the with bats on it before anybody did it in the last five ten years. Yeah, that's an old one. Yeah, just cool. just fitted. I seen one member post a St. Louis one a couple weeks ago that looks like this, but that's I never seen it before than that. I I've them. never seen a Detroit hat with um bolt oars on it. Honestly, man, hey, I'm not, Great Lakes, I'm not, baby, it would it would fit Great Lakes, baby. Get out of here! Come on, that, that's a hat. Like if I was on a road team, that's the first hat I'm buying. I know I'm not the guy that's voting for the winners, but I think the dude is like 0 for seven. So that right there, <laughs> it's a regular Detroit hat with the World Series patch, four-time World Series winner, but in the inside, oh, a bunch of coked-out tigers. Oh shit! The whole hat is full yeah. of coked-out tigers on the inside. Hmm. That's a good I thought one. you said you wanted to do Miz. You can't. The Tigers is the wrong thing, bro. You might want to go Lions and Pistons, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't own Lions hat, bro. Ra Raider Nation in this house, too, bro. Raider Nation oh, here. Man. Ra Raider Nation in Detroit? Come on, man. You, you, you yeah. better than me. Come on, man. Come on. You you know that they were no good when we were little. My pops had to pick a different team, and he picked the Raiders. Care. That's I, what I, I took. Don't care. I don't care if they suck. I'm not going to I'm not gonna pick another team. I'm going to keep watching until they win. Hey, I, like the, I, I, like care, the I don't care if I'm in a diaper. I love oh, your dedication. Goodness. I love your dedication, Robert. I'm not abandoning the Lions. I don't care. You could you could no. love the Lions and another team. Like I love the Lions. I, I, no, I like the Raiders friends. too, though. I like the Raiders. There you they go. One of my too. my good friends is Matt, Matt, Matt Raiders. Raider. <laughs> I will say the Raiders have been the most dominant franchise in the NFL for the last 20 years. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not much better. It's not much better. Maybe in apparel. That's it. In yeah, apparel, definitely, definitely, definitely in apparel. apparel. It's the only category they're winning. It's your turn, bro. I mean, I, all right, Buster. I'm, I'm, see, I'm see I told you he's yelling at me, bro. I told you. I mean, no, AJ, AJ, he's trying to stop AJ. it up. Trying to stop it up, Robert. AJ, you're so hyped up, you're not listening to him. He's claiming that you bought most of these caps at a gas station. Yeah, oh, that's fine. That. I ain't sweating that. It wasn't a gas station. It was TJ Maxx, Robert. 
Oh, oh, oh Ross. Oh, These oh, are all oh, Ross. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Here you go. Here you go. The cloud. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did like that hat. I do like that's that. A, that's a recent, recent release. Yeah. I like that hat. Yeah. I missed on that hat. I'm not going to lie. I missed on that. I didn't, they had I didn't it at the Shell station. The Shell had it for $3.99. I copped it. <laughs> no, I missed on that hat. I'm not going to lie. I missed on it. I didn't miss on this one, though. That, that's my least favorite D, but. I, I still like. I don't. The, I don't. The I don't like it either. But it's. Hey it's, Ryan, it's, I didn't think you it was liked a cop, the D. though. <laughs> Ryan, I, I didn't think you liked the D. I'm not a huge fan of the D. Pierre, oh, I know you love yeah, the D. Green under brim. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, we'll go back to back on the script. We'll go back to back on that script. That All Star. Yeah. Got to have some color options. Oh, you want some All Star? You want some All Star? On I know you got oh. 99 All Star hats, Robert. I know you have every All Star hat from every game. I, I mean, know. I, I mean, I, I got that one. I got that one, but I'll do this one. Mm. That's a oh, good no, Rob, Rob, Robert, me, Robert. Robert. That's a nice Robert, pin. Robert, this is the first one that He's I getting put, loose. He's getting loose. That hat back. <laughs> yeah, that one. That one. That one's raw. I'll take it back for sure. Yeah, Robert, I know you did sure, that to Ryan. make AJ. I know you just did that to make AJ feel good. I, I'm giving yeah, a, I'm gonna give AJ sure. that one just because I think you're just you're throwing you're throwing him a bone. Yeah, I give him that one. I give him that one. He can have you it. Broke up your, you broke I, up I missed up your on that one, but I mean, you know, like I said, I, I got I, I got that hat, so it's yeah. not like he. It's, I mean, hey. I said right. we would probably have the same hats. All right. Well, we'll switch colors. We'll switch colors up. Go with the dark brown. You guys talking about I the, the chocolate color earlier? With the crazy Detroit script on the side. Huh? Holy shit, man. This stuff looks like it's from, like, 96. Let's go with the real version of that. The flawless. Oh, oh. 100-year anniversary, oh. boy. 100-year anniversary. Mm. Mm. I like it. I like it. Your turn. All right, last one. I say I say the, the, the last one because it's the FHS Connect. This came straight from Angelo. You already know, right from the BX, straight from the store, like a month ago. He sent this to me. So this is my number one for the night because it came from the group. This group is the dopest. So I just saved this for the last one. Wait, you saved you saved the hat, a Detroit hat that came from the Bronx as your best hat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> absolutely, bro. Because the story hey. for the FHS, man, for the FHS. Okay. Hey. Okay. AJ, okay. do you have the Army guy it came with? Uh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Gotta show that. Gotta show that, then. You gotta show that. I mean, it ain't gonna help you win this thing, but you gotta I show it. No, it came it's with the army piece. guy? It was a two-piece, though. It was a two-piece. A Angelo always throws in little green army men whenever he sends out a hat. Yeah. Okay, man. AJ, AJ, if you can throw an Eminem verse at us off the cuff, we'll consider voting for you. <laughs> I'm, not about to, I'm not about to do that. That's not about to happen, bro. Don't embarrass your thought <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah, we're all saying I'm like got one win. Like I'm gonna do anything else right now besides say thanks for having me. Have you a might, good fucking might, night. Dunk the deuces. Like two. thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> you might have two. Okay, like, hey, I appreciate that. I'll take well, two. I'll take what it. What was your last hat, Robert? I don't think well, what was that hat he showed? That hat. What was that he showed? Or what, what was it? Hey, uh, so we the world. The 06 World Series. I got the same hat. 06 World Series, except it got the blue bottom. Ooh. Oh man, that's some, oh. that's some bullshit. <laughs> this, hat, this, hat, this, hat, this hat was actually a gift from Pierre, and I appreciate that for the victory. There you go. There you go, bro. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> That's right. I, I think the only thing that would have saved AJ is if he whipped out the monster hat. So, Robert, don't you I have this team collected hat. Detroit hat? I have that one. I yeah, Robert that. does. I wanted to AJ, see that one. Yeah. Damn, it's got his Verners on it, too. I'm losing. I'm, I'm. I'm looking for hats. I'm losing them. Looking for them. I got the. I got the regular version too. The 06 World yep. Series with the gray bottle. Yeah. That's right. I, got the, that's right. I got the original 06 World Series hat from Comerica Park. Picked it up from Comerica Park the night the Tigers clinched. I was uh, at that game. I wasn't at the game. I just went down to the stadium and got the hat. Okay. And we left. Well, well, well hey, well, you can make it official. Robert's got the crown for Detroit, and now you can go Detroit versus everybody. Take all the cities on, bro. No, take no, I don't think so. I don't think so because a lot of other teams have won a lot more championships in the state of Michigan, and um, it will be hard for me to compete against anybody else. I just want my city. I don't have to have nothing else. Well, there you go, bro. You at least got it on, on tonight. I don't know if anyone else is challenging you, I don't I'm think. 
I want to call out some people. Where's Eric Rogers? Where's Carl Smith? Thomas, Thomas P. Yeah. All these guys from the D. They should have been in here. You know, you had no chance, bro. I knew that anyway. I look at your background on the um in the group history. You you, you had no chance. I mean, I'm just being honest. I mean, you a yeah, good no, dude. Cool with me, bro. bro. We have no, you a good yet. dude. You a good dude. I like you. I'm just saying, hat wise, <laughs> you train. Hey, he said. Listen, basically, what Robert's saying, AJ, so I can help out here because I, I just want to make sure you hear this very clearly. He's saying <laughs> that he likes you. You're a good dude. You contribute well to the group, but I'm your hats, you that. can't battle, you can't battle him with hats because you get most of yours from the local, um, the local uh, gas station. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Don't listen to That's me. That's what he man. said. That's what he said. Don't worry. He's he been making jokes all night. I ain't worried about it. It's fine. Yeah, don't listen to me. Good. 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 AJ, you got good hats, man. We're just playing around. And I want to thank you, man, for your, you know, we don't have to vote. I think we all know um, who won <laughs> this, but, but I think, listen, I think, um, you know, I want to say that I appreciate your contributions in FHS and in the hack community. Um, the, the MLB flex was great. Um, it was really, really awesome. Uh, a really awesome idea and well executed. So thank you for, for bringing that to, to, to the forefront and allowing us to have fun with it. Um, and you know what, thanks for being a good sport and coming on here, man. I mean, I know, um, after getting to know you, I, I'm pretty clear you're not an Eminem fan. Um, and I know that you, um, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm impressed that you changed your shirt a couple of times too, while you're, while you're obviously, um, I don't know, half in the bag, but, um, I, I love it, man. I love what you brought to the table today, man. I really do. And, and hey, Robert, well, thanks for having me. Hopefully y'all get some good views on it and someone else needs a battle up in this and show some hats. Cause that's what it's about. So. Absolutely, I'm pretty man. Dis- appreciate you, man. Absolutely. I'm a little disappointed that I wasn't being able to be the deciding factor tonight. So, damn. Well, Ryan, sorry, we're sorry, I started we're and bring better hats. I guess I should have brought That's better hats. Right. My bad. That's my fault. That's on me. So, my bad. <laughs> Ryan, who would you who would you have voted for, Ryan? Hat, man. Who would you have voted for, Ryan? Uh, H had a couple good ones, but I had I have to go Robert. So eight to two. But, it, but it, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. He said he wanted to battle all the state of Michigan, so I brought some stuff out. Let's just show some stuff just for good. There right? you go. So I don't know if I don't know if Toledo Mud Hens count. That's Ohio. You know, like I that's brought Ohio, this out. I know that's Ohio, but I mean it's the Tigers, right? What about the Great Lake Loons? That's Michigan, right? That's yep. Michigan, yeah. What about that there? Yeah. What is that? I was uh, gonna wear this and just he, sacrifice it for the game. I mean, he said he wanted oh, to battle shit. me. Like, the battle cap. I got pistons. That's battle I got great. Pistons yeah, yeah. Stuff. I got That's stuff everywhere, one, though, right? Yeah, I got Come white on, caps man. upstairs. I got a couple of uh, white caps upstairs. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. That's Ooh, dope. That's, that's dope. No, I like the one you have on, uh, Robert. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Aspitz Griffins. Yeah, it's the hockey team, Great Lake Griffins. Yeah. I, mean, you... I mean, I got like, I got shit everywhere, man. Come on, man. Hold on. Robert, you got the, you got the, this is with TJ right here. here. The Thanksgiving game, Chicago Bears versus the Lions with the, with the pin from Ford Field. Was I, was asking Robert, if, Robert, you have the, uh, the U of M Jordan one? No, no. Is, is that a, it's not a Nike hat, is it? Is it a Nike no, hat? No, it's a new era. It's a new era hat. No, I'm not, I'm not hip to that. Uh, I'm a Michigan fan, but I waver a little bit because I don't like hardball. You like, <laughs> you're, you're, a state, you're a state fan? No, I'm a Michigan fan. I hate state. I'm a Michigan fan, but I'm okay. not a hardball fan. I don't gotcha, like hardball. Gotcha. Yeah. Well. Listen, guys, this was fun, man. I enjoyed it. Um, Robert, you you um you you laid the gauntlet down here, and um, AJ <laughs> AJ came up saying he was gonna kick your ass or something. I don't I don't remember what he said, but it yeah, didn't work stop out. Stop playing, bro. Stop playing. I got mad respect for the founder, bro. Nothing but love, man. Yeah, well, that was Emin- that was Eminem talking. That wasn't AJ. <laughs> I um I think this three was one three, this- bro. I yeah. got that one. <laughs> That's a good hat. What was it? Let me see it again. The leather 313 three, three patch. 313. Three. Is there like a Hold on. Like Wait a minute. On the bottom? Wait a minute. Yeah, there's an address. There you go. 2100. Yep. If you ever looking for if you ever looking for Comerica Park. Yeah. Send all the, uh, the fan the fan stuff to, to that address. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think um listen, this was a great this was a great a great show, man. We had Ryan on. Um, you know, and some people are dubbing this the most energetic hat battle ever. And I think um, you know, anytime we can get Robert on, man, there's gonna be some energy. But AJ came out of nowhere. I don't know like what kind of speed this dude's on, but 
<laughs> hey, remember, remember that crap whatever, whatever we saw? AJ, whatever the fuck you're on, man. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't you know how long it's gonna take you to come down and fall asleep, but this was some intense <laughs> shit, man. Thanks for you having brought, me, bro. I appreciate you it, man. Brought. Thank you. So, guys, um, we're gonna we're gonna let you guys go. Um, thank you so much for being on. Um, we're gonna we're gonna figure out um what's next, you know, but this this could be the, the start of something really special for us with some city battles. So um, absolutely thank you, thank you for setting the bar nice and high. <laughs> yeah, I just want to, I want to thank you guys again for having me on. It was uh it was it was fun. Appreciate it. Listen, anytime Ryan, you guys need a anytime you guys need a, a judge, let me know. I'm down. Yeah, not just a judge. We're we're gonna do more round table stuff and, and yeah, for sure. Like let me know that and just bring a bunch of personalities in just to kind of talk about things. So the more we can do that kind of stuff, the better off the better off the community is going to be. And we want to get more people involved. So, um, again, I love this show. This was this was great. Um, yeah, and and again, uh, Jason, with those gas station hats. It was pretty yeah, good. yeah. The gas station. Listen, the gas station hats were one of my personal he's highlights. Got, he's got one of the best gas stations I've seen around. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> this is the gas station of all gas station tigers hat, bro. The hundred dollar bill side panels. Oh what man! I didn't even show you that. I like it. I like that. You would have won if you'd have showed that. But yeah. too late. Oh right. please, please. <laughs> that, that's a that's a felony in FHS. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that's an interesting hat for sure. Um, I knew not to show it. I didn't even put it in the ten, bro. I knew not to. <laughs> well, you still sh you still showed it, pal. You just did. Hey, <laughs> right. it's, it's all good, bro. It's all good. <laughs> Oh shit! So, Jason, as always, man, thanks for um, moderating uh, this mess. Um, I appreciate. I, I tried. It. <laughs> and and Leon, Leon, um, every every collector's favorite collector. Um, yep. thank you, thank you again. Um, for all you do, and I see you're wearing the hat that John Bear sent you, the the burrito yeah, hat. JB. Yep, yep, love that hat. JB. Oh, that's yep. dope. dope. That's dope. I got two yeah. colorways that one. Yeah. Well, Leon has one. Leon's not a food hat guy, but he just he, – he popped that one on his head for today. Of course, of course. Yeah. Um, what do we got next? We got uh, we got Eric from uh, Fourth Quarter Shop on our show this Wednesday, um, yeah. followed by um, an open invite. So next week on Saturday, we're hoping to get the originator of the Pink Bottom, Pink Bottom Just, PBJ. Um, and then anyone who wants to bring their top five um, – Pink Bottoms or uh, Justin Creations will get to battle. We will select a winner, and um, me and Pierre are going to foot the bill on one future Hat Club release to the winner. But also, he, it's going to be early access. So yes. whatever hat you guys select will be secure, early access. Leon and I will take care of the cost, and we're going to yeah. get to that person. I think after that show, too, Leon, if you're down, I'm ready for another Views After Dark. Sure. Let's do it. You'll have to. Do it. You'll be back in 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 your your spot, right? By the I'll be back so. in my lair, man. So I'll feel more comfortable again. This is this is this is different for me. You know, for, your, for next week, then I'm gonna need to borrow your five best pink bottom hats. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, can I borrow your five best pink? I don't have any pink bottom. I have, have hundred. I, I have hundred and ten of them, so I can have enough to go around for twenty. Different yeah, I need five. Like, just give me the give me the yeah. top five, so I can win the next one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, they don't, have have to to be, do they don't have to be pink bottoms. They just have to be pink <clears throat> bottom just releases. Right. So, um, you pick your top five. Open invite. It might be a long show, but you know we'll we'll power through it. But we'll pick the winner. They will get any hat they choose for a future release. We will secure. Nice. It. You will not have to worry about it. Um, and me and Pierre are gonna foot the bill. That's so, right. And tomorrow, me and Pierre are gonna. Uh, go over the background uh, on the story on his hat, on his uh, Sammy hat, on his IG. So join us yep. for that. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. So thanks, guys, for joining. Stay fitted. We will catch you guys um, tomorrow with Jason and Pierre. And then uh, Wednesday um, with all of us back here. Take care, guys. See ya. Thanks, guys.